We're back, Adventure Roads. It's another snowy day. It's like Groundhog's Day. This is one of the uh, easiest winters we've had, but uh, it's back. We got to clear a little bit of snow. There's probably about four to six inches out here at the ranch. So anyway, it's going to break out the Massey 1735M. I'm going to clear this out a little bit, and then I think I'm going to try to go out and clear out uh, uh, the old Taffeltown parking lot because he's He's letting me park over there to hunt up on the uh, side of my property. It gives me a little different access on the property when deer hunting. So I'm going to see if I can go clear out a little bit of that um, for him for letting me park over there because I really appreciated it. Um, stay tuned. Uh, we're going to run this up and down the driveway a little bit. And then uh, um, are you guys getting ready for Florida or do you got spring fever? Um, do you anybody uh, do the fake bake? Uh, the sun tanning booth I knew of. Uh, person today I seen that had the fake bake on but uh, I got kind of a funny uh, fake bake story from work so stay tuned I'll give it to you at the end yeah, bye. At the old Taffeltown log cabin bar. I'm gonna clear a little bit of the parking lot. These guys have been in here working really hard. Uh, Dean and Renee like them on Facebook. Taffeltown on Facebook. T A F F E L T O W N. Taffeltown on Facebook. They're restoring this old 19, I believe, in the 40s log cabin bar here on M66. It used to be a staple for hunters and snowmobilers. And people uh, driving up through the middle of the state here on M66. We're right across the, 
road from the uh, Rhodes Ranch. But whenever they're ready to open up, give them a try, support them. They're putting a lot of time, effort, and uh, resources, and sure money into this place. So uh, give them a try when they're ready to roll. Ranch is all cleared out, cleared out a little bit of Taffeltown. Hopefully that helps them out getting in and out of there a little bit. Snow's starting to get a little deep. So anyways, earlier at the beginning of the video, I was talking about people uh, sun tanning, the fake bake and all that. So last night I was on my way home and I went by a uh, tanning place and it reminded me of a uh, story from the jail I work at. So anyways, uh, sometimes the occasional uh, person gets a uh, work release and this one time we had a uh, lady that was on work release and when she got sentenced she was pretty dark and uh, from sun, sun tanning and anyway she was out on work release for a little period of time and then uh, we come to realize that uh, um, she was still pretty tan and so they checked into it and instead of coming back to the jail on time like uh, she was supposed to she was stopping at the tanning salon to get the fake bake so Anyway, she lost her work release for that, uh, so it wasn't worth the uh, fake bait, but um, I thought it was kind of a classic story. So if you got any classic stories from your job, or if you're an officer watching this channel and you got any classic stories you want to throw in there, um, we'd love to hear them. So anyways, hope you're having a good uh, winter day. If uh, you're like Florida Greg that watches the channel, hope you're uh, enjoying shoveling the sunshine. So anyways, everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. Click that uh, subscribe button um, and share with your friends. Appreciate it.